Hello friends and welcome to YouTube channel Freedom Tech and in this session what we are going to learn. In this session we are going to install the micro python on our Raspberry Pi Pico board then we are going to configure on board LED of our Raspberry Pi Pico then we are going to configure the ultrasonic sensor on our Raspberry Pi Pico then we are going to configure the DC motor on our Raspberry Pi Pico board okay but before we move to our practical friends if you learn something from our videos please consider to subscribe our channel okay friends thank you so much and let's get started so friends as I told you first we are going to configure the onboard LED then we are going to configure the ultrasonic sensor then DC motor then with the help of ultrasonic sensor we will have the distance and then we are going to make the condition if distance is like this then the motor speed will be this if the distance is more than that then the DC motor speed will be increased okay so for that first we need to install the Tony Python IDE on our window machine this is what the window machine window 10 machine you can use same tutorial for windows 11 okay so first we need to download here a Tony Python IDE so Tony.org this is what their official website then you need to go here in windows click on windows download setup.exe file and install Tony Python IDE on your window machine I have already installed as you can see this is what our Tony Python IDE it is really easy as we always install any software on windows machine same steps just click on next next and it will install the Tony on our window machine that's it for today's session I have created here Pico DC motor distance repository I will mention the repository link inside the description box okay then you need to simply click on the link and open the link inside the web browser then go to the code download zip and it will download our repository as you can see it's download so now go here go to the show in folder right click and click on extract all click on extract and it will extract the folder as you can see this is what our folder just click on and inside that we have here a two images the images of the connection how to connect ultrasonic sensor DC motor then L29 A10 DC motor driver board and then how to connect total connection with the Raspberry Pi Pico okay then we have here Pico pins okay so first we are going to open the Pico pins okay friends I hope you all see clear so friends first we are going to see how to connect the ultrasonic sensor with our Pico board okay so ultrasonic sensor has four pins first one is the VCC pin which is the power pin then second one is the trigger pin then third one is the echo pin then fourth one is the ground pin okay so VCC pin which we want to connect with our Pico board pin number 40 pin number 40 V bus pin number 40 VCC pin then trigger pin as you can see the yellow color wire the trigger pin which we want to connect Pico board with pin number 32 GP 27 means the GPIO 27 okay then echo pin which is the green color okay echo pin which we want to connect with Pico board pin number 31 GP 26 pin number 31 GP 26 then last one the ground which we want to connect with Pico board pin number 28 the ground pin number 28 okay so let me again explain you VCC pin pin number 40 trigger pin pin number 32 GPIO 27 echo pin pin number 31 GPIO 26 and the ground which is the last pin which we want to connect with the Pico board pin number 28 as you can see it is a ground pin okay so this is how first you want to connect the ultrasonic sensor with the Pico board now we have done with the ultrasonic sensor now how to connect the L29 A10 DC motor driver board with the Pico okay so as you can see the input one okay let me make more zoom in 
then you will see clear as you can see the l29 a10 dc motor driver board the in1 means the input one the in1 pin which we want to connect with the green color wire which i have connect with the in1 the first pin in1 pin number 4 the pico board pin number 4 which is the gp2 gpio2 okay then the in2 as you can see the yellow wire in2 which we want to connect with pin number 5 which is the gpio3 and the ground pin as you can see here we have ground so ground pin which we want to connect with raspberry pi pico board pin number 23 okay as you can see the ground pin number 23 then our battery so 9 volt battery it has two wires the red one and the black one so red one is the plus and black one is the minus means ground and this one is the light so plus one which we want to connect with the first pin as you can see this one the first one and the ground of course which we want to connect with the second pin here okay so this is how we need to connect the 9 volt battery with the l29 a10 dc motor driver board then here we need to connect our dc motor as you can see dc motor the green one okay here first and the yellow second okay so this is how you need to connect the dc motor the battery and ultrasonic sensor with the raspberry pi pico okay so i have shared the diagram and i have shared uh, the pico pins inside our repository that's it now let me close all these things and now we are going to open our tony python id okay and now we want to connect our pico board with the window machine so let me first connect and as you can see rpi rp2 this is what our board okay the pico board now what we want to do we want to simply go here in run select interpreter and from here we need to select the micro python raspberry pi pico select it then try to detect port automatically and simply click on install or update firmware and as you can see it will automatic because inside that we have already the firmware the raspberry pi pico micro python firmware okay simply click on install and now it's installing as you can see it's copying it's basically it's downloading the firmware online okay so we have successfully done click on close click on ok and then you will see here the pico okay as you can see the micro python raspberry pi pico with rp2040 so we successfully configure the micro python inside our pico board okay so now simply go to the file click on open and we need to open our scripts from our folder so we download our folder inside our computer so this computer go to the downloads and this is what our folder click on the folder inside that we have one folder again and then this is what our scripts so simply we are going to start with led blink so click on led blink and click on open okay so from machine import pin from time import slip led is equal to pin 25 is basically our onboard led pin okay the pico onboard led pin then of course this is what the out so pin dot out that then while true led dot value 0 means it will turn off then slip 0 0.5 then led dot value 1 it will on the onboard led and then again it will slip the 0 0.5 second okay so simply start the code so now i can see here my pico board on board led is blinking okay so we have successfully done with led blink part okay so simply do you want to save before closing if you want to save inside the pico board simply click on yes raspberry pi pico and here it is say the device busy simply we need to stop first our code okay so now again go to here go to the file click on save as raspberry pi pico and now you can simply save the led blink dot pi inside the pico board so led blink dot pi and click on ok now we successfully save our led blink dot pi inside our pico board so if you go file click on open raspberry pi pico as you can see 
we have now led bling dot py inside our pico board okay so this is how you can save the files inside the pico board so now we have done with led bling dot py part now go again file click on open this computer and now we are going to configure the ultrasonic sensor first okay so the b dist uh, basic distance okay b dist click on b dist and it will open bds.py python file inside our goni python id so as you can see import hcsr04 okay so first we need to install the hcsr04 so how to install simply go to the tools manage packages and here we need to search for hcsr04 and then click on search on pypy okay and then we need to install the hcsr04 uh, module okay so my m python hcsr04 as you can see m python click on m python and just click on install and this doesn't look like micro python just click on yes and it will install the m python hcsr04 package on our tony python id as you can see i have installed then simply click on close okay now import hcsr04 from time import slip then this is just a variable ultrasonic then we need to call our module hcsr04 dot hcsr04 then trigger pin okay as i mentioned the trigger pin is our gpio pin number 27 and echo pin is 26 let me open again the image the pico pins just a minute So this is what our pins, okay. So GP27, as I already mentioned, the ultrasonic sensor trigger pin, which we connect with the pin number 32, GP27, which I have mentioned here. As you can see, the trigger pin 27, GPIO pin 27, physical pin number 32, and the, then the echo pin, which we connect with the Pico board pin number 31 and GPIO 26. So, echo pin GPIO 26. Okay, so we need to mention the connections of our Pico board to our ultrasonic sensor. The trigger pin 27 and echo pin 26. They, then, echo timeout US 1 million. That's then we need to use a while loop. So, while true, and then we are going to call our ultrasonic dot distance centimeter. A is equal to ultrasonic dot distance and cm then it will slip for 0.1 millisecond and it will print the distance okay so this is what for our basic ultrasonic configuration file okay if you start the code you will have the distance simple now we have another file click on open again go to the this computer and this time we are going to open the moto moto is basically how to control the DC motor with L29 18 board using Pico. Okay, so Moto, click on open. Okay, so we have now our DC motor basic configuration file. Okay, so from machine import pin, import U time, P is equal to machine dot PWM, then machine dot pin 2. Okay, if I again open, so L29 18 dc motor driver input one the pin which we connect with as i already mentioned the raspberry pi pico board pin number four gp2 as you can see i have mentioned the gp2 okay then we have here the another pin okay the l29 a10 board input two which we connect with the pico board pin number five pin number five which is the gp3 as you can see i have mentioned three so input one gp2 gp2 input 2 gp3 gp3 okay i hope you all clear so we need to mention the pins so p is basically pin number 2 and p1 is basically pin number 3 the gpio pin number 2 and gpio 3 okay then p dot frequency the default frequency 1000 so then while true a is equal to input we need to mention the pwm manually input then enter is just a text okay then b is equal to a is basically the integer so we need to convert the integer into string so int str and we need to mention our a 
then p dot duty we are going to start with first p so p dot duty u 16 and we need to mention the b simple then simply start the code and as you can see enter here we need to mention the pwm so 40000 okay so to start with 40000 if you mention the 10000 the the DC motor will not start okay the minimum range start with 40000 just hit enter then 60000 it will increase the speed if you want to stop simply enter the zero hit enter the DC motor will stop okay so range start from 40000 then it will 60000 it will increase the speed of our DC motor so this is how you can control the speed of DC motor with the help of PWM 40,000 and the 60,000 then if you want to stop the DC motor simply enter 0 ok. So this is for basic code for controlling the DC motor speed with the PWM ok simply stop the code. Now the last one which is our main code go to the open again this computer and then the DM as you can see the DM is basically distance motor ok so dm click on open the last one which is our main file so import scsr04 from machine import pin from time import sleep then the same thing which we uh, already call in our motor.py the pins then the frequency then the ultrasonic sensor then while loop then a is equal to ultrasonic distance centimeter ok then sleep 0.1 millisecond print a then as you can see I have mentioned here a condition if the distance is less than 5 then the p dot duty u16 will 40000 ok means if the distance is 5 less than 5 the DC motor will start and the PWM is 40000 if the distance is 10 and 50 in between 10 and 50 the DC motor will start with 60000 PWM ok it will increase the sp speed so if the distance is less than 5 the DC motor will work slowly if the distance in between 10 and 50 DC motor will of course increase the speed it will work with 60,000 PWM ok if it is more than 50 then the DC motor duty is 0 ok means DC, DC motor will stop ok so this is how you can control the DC motor with the ultrasonic sensor distance ok so now we are going to see the practical ok so friends as you can see right now the distance is 210 centimeter ok and our DC motor is stop because we mentioned the condition if the distance is less than 5 the pu duty cycle is 40,000 and if the distance in between 10 and 50 then duty cycle is 60,000 ok so right now of course the distance is more than 50 ok that's why our DC motor is not working so now if I make something in front of our ultrasonic sensor ok like this way as you can see the now distance is basically ok so it's it's now 20 centimeter and our motor is working on PWM 60,000 ok now the distance is less than 5 ok so now as you can see it's low speed the PWM is basically 40,000 now ok as you can see I have set the object now there is no object motor is stop and the distance is 210 ok again if I show like this way as you can see I have set object in front of our ultrasonic sensor the distance is now 10 or 11 centimeter and of course the motor is moving uh, at uh, 60,000 PWM ok now close the object more near to ultrasonic sensor now the distance is 4 centimeter and motor is moving at PWM 40,000 ok now there is no object it stop ok this is how you can control the motor the DC motor speed with the help of ultrasonic sensor 
using Raspberry Pi Pico. I hope you will learn something from this video. We will meet our next video. Till then, thank you. Take care and bye-bye.